Hello guys, Taneda here. FL Studio 2024.2 was released, I think, yesterday. And there's a bunch of new features I really enjoyed so far. Let's take a look at them. First thing that I found useful were ghost notes. You can enable them here through the menu. And they will be shown in the other patterns or channels that are situated in the same region, in the same kind of part of the song, playlist, whatever. Uh, yeah, you can enable, disable them. Enabled, and as we move the pattern, the ghost notes move together with it. So yeah, that's quite neat to synchronize different patterns, different tracks, and make the grooves work together well. Next cool feature that I found here is this guy. It's called Transporter. It's part of the old plugins edition, I think. And basically it's a buffer effect, which continuously records buffer. Let's get rid of the dry signal. There are like two loops. Let's work with one loop first and it can do a bunch of things based on the parameters you use here. It's kind of cool for some sort of glitches or textures. It reacts to the transient of the input. Something like that. Another thing that I did immediately as soon as I upgraded to the new version of FL Studio. You can change the hi-hat tick, whatever. There's, there was a bunch of like weird metronome noises. Now it's way more subtle. And quite pleasant, to be honest, compared to what was previously there. Another cool feature is that we can now disable limiter on the looks verb. Sometimes when the signal gets too strong, you can hear the kind of a choking amplitude skipping of the reverb itself. That's when the limiter kind of pushes it down a little bit. Disabling it resolves the problem. I'm not sure we can get the audible comparison, but let's try at least. As soon as I've disabled the limiter, you could see that the level on the master channel got a bit higher in the amplitude. And yeah, there was a little bit of cleaner, more like airier sound to the wet signal to the reverb tail. And you saw the gain clipping red whenever the limiter was reacting to the input signal. So yeah, that's kind of neat. There's also a bunch of other quality of life improvements, including activations features, some sort of cloud features, 
especially for the flex, I think, with the uh, existing packs in the store and subscriptions, like, there's some sort of a more unified approach to that. And, yeah, this is a pretty good update, I think, and go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. There's also, I think, a good deal for the Black Friday. I think it's still on. Pretty good stuff. Go check it out. Have fun. And tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Cheers.